Okay, everyone, last class, we worked on sequential programming using the robot in motion. Today, what we're gonna be doing is building on what we did yesterday by adding the ultrasonic sensor. When you start programming your robot, your robot will react more intelligently to the environment around it. And you're gonna attach the ultrasonic sensor. What I like about using EV3 in the classroom is that it's kind of like instant engagement or engagement in a box. I can introduce the lesson, but beyond that, the students can work very much on their own. Is that the right one? Yeah, it is. So you're going backwards instead of forwards? It's not going forward here, like in that one. We need to recalibrate it so that it's the, so the up position is zero. Does look good? Yep. Yeah, yes. yes! EV3 makes learning easier for me because it's really easy to follow. You're actually building what you want to build hands-on and you get to immediately see the results of your project in real time. What I like about the EV3 curriculum is that teachers can open it up and use it right away and know that it addresses math and science as well as some literacy. It is a great tool for teaching the 21st century skills, so it is definitely getting them prepared for the future. So today we're going to explore three scenarios. We're going to explore the temperature of water coming out of the tap. We're going to explore the temperature of water with ice in it. And then finally, we're going to explore the temperature of water if I've added some salt to the ice. So we want you guys to use the software tool to predict, and you're going to analyze to compare how close was your prediction. OK. When we use the data logging, we can collect data at five samples per second. You can't do that with a regular thermometer. In addition, the students are comparing their prediction with what's actually happening, as it's happening. Right here at about 95 seconds, at that exact moment, is when the water inside this test tube just started freezing. Cool. Getting to watch the data kind of move on the screen, coming to life, EV3 really helps you to learn the science as opposed to just watch it. One of the advantages of EV3 is the content editor and the fact that students can save their work right into the workbook. When they want to go back to their files, they simply open it up and they go back to those pages. They can add photographs, they can add their drawings, and it makes it easy for teachers to assess and track their progress. The teacher can add content. In this case, I've already added some video and some text, so now I'm going to add a picture. And I simply find the photograph, tap, open, and there it is in the software. It's easy. One of the key aspects of the EV3 is students are excited to use it. And we know when students are excited about learning, they're paying more attention, they're coming up with their own ideas. That again, keeps the engagement factor high because they own those ideas and they get an opportunity to explore their own ideas. 